you maintain your car, but do you maintain your running machine? Stay tuned and I'll show you how the couch stretch can improve your running. Hi, I'm Sherpa Herb, online running coach exclusively for runners over 50 and founder of the Forever Runner Method. Today, I'm going to go into step eight of the Forever Runner Method, which is called Mobilize. So if you haven't been following uh, all the steps I've been doing in the previous videos for the Forever Runner Method, I'll, I'll put a link up above uh, so you can click and get caught up. Um, <clears throat> But as I said, this, this step is on mobilize. So for us older runners, this is extremely important. And uh, as I said at the very beginning, if, if you're thinking uh, that it's important to maintain your car properly to keep it running for many thousands of miles, you need to approach your running in the same way and get into the habit of having daily maintenance on your body for your running. And there's a couple ways to do this. And <clears throat> um, uh, today I'm gonna uh, focus on one of my favorites, the couch stretch. Uh, but before that, um, let me talk about how to start this routine. So. Uh, one of the best ways to start out, you know, which is uh, very easy to do, is with foam rolling. So um, there's all sorts of videos on YouTube on how to foam roll, but the whole idea is to get in the habit. Uh, and what I find uh, that works best for uh, myself and my clients is in the evening, uh, just before you go to bed, dedicate 10 minutes for mobility. And what that would involve is uh, start off with some foam rolling on, on your legs and other parts of your body, and, and then finish up with the couch stretch. So the, the reason you wanna do this every day is it, it, if you start foam rolling, you'll, you'll notice that it can be a little painful because your body isn't used to it. And you've got that fascia that is adhering to your muscles and, and you kind of need to uh, break some of those uh, little knobs that are, that are catching and get things loosened up. But you'll, you'll find if you do this every day over a couple of weeks, um, that it won't be so painful to do the foam rolling and the other thing is, is you'll start uh, being more self-aware of your muscles in your legs and hips and buttocks, and you'll 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 find those little little things that will grow if you don't pay attention to them and end up being in some sort of muscle imbalance or injury later on. So you you. Just by doing a simple daily foam roll routine, uh, you, you'll be able to catch, catch some of these little things be, before they even cause a problem. So on top of, on top of that, uh, for us uh, older runners, uh, our hip, hip flexors are, are very important. And one of the best ways to maintain your, uh, the, the flexibility and elasticity of your hip flexors is to do uh, what's called a couch stretch. And I'll, I'll clip in uh, to a demonstration on that right here. Hey there. So today I want to talk about uh, mobility a little bit. Now, as we get older and especially if we end up sitting at a desk a lot during the day or commuting or whatever, uh, you get really, uh, your hip flexors, they get short and they get tight. And this, this really compromises your running form and, and can lead to injuries such as runner's knee and 
um, and just just not being not being able to fully take advantage of your natural stride. So um, so there's a really good uh, stretch to do for this. Uh, Dr. Kelly Sturett, uh calls this dental floss for uh, for running, but it, it's it's something that we all should be doing uh, daily, and uh, it's called the couch uh, stretch. So uh, that's why I'm here by the couch. So let me show you how this works. So what you want to do is you can use a obviously lose use a couch. You take your left leg and you want your knee um, directly below the couch so your legs going straight up so you can do this against a wall uh, just make sure you have some padding underneath your knee so it doesn't hurt um, point your toes if you can and then uh, what you want to do is um, you want to fire up your glute a little bit and and then you want to move this leg your right leg forward like that and you, you want to press your, your, your hip down. You'll feel, the, you'll feel the stretch. And you just want to hold that for a minute and then switch over to the other side. Now, if, um, once, once you're done with that, then you can proceed to sit up you put your hands here and then you you want to move your your hip back for this stretch and do that hold that for a minute so if if you're really tight and and having a problem getting this leg out um, you can just use a, a box or something like this um, to, uh, to add some leverage and to, and to get that stretch. Uh, but if you're doing this, do this for two minutes on each side uh, so you can get this loosened up to go ahead and go back to doing the, the, the regular stretch like that. So make sure you, you fire up the glute there and and press down you'll feel you'll feel the stretch and hold it for a minute so this is this is the couch stretch and it's something that you should do every day it, uh, just uh, like you said before it's kind of like uh, dental floss for your legs but this will help open up those hips get that range of motion going allow you to have a more natural stride. And if you're struggling with uh, uh, running slow at a, at a uh, slow cadence, uh, this, this will help. So give it, give it a try. So I hope that, I hope that was helpful for you. Um, go ahead and give the couch stretch a try. And like I said, uh, the whole idea behind mobility is to get in the habit of, of doing 10 minutes a day of mobility work. And that's a combination of foam rolling and doing the couch stretch. And um, by, by doing that for an extended period of time, it'll be easier for you and you'll be able to ward off potential injury uh, quicker. So <clears throat> uh, thanks for viewing this. If, if you like this series, uh, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and, and the bell to be notified. I, I put these out about once a week. And I'll see you in the next video, uh, which will finish off this series on lifting. So see you then.